What's up everyone and welcome to the club. In today's video we're going to be creating a Deadpool Leon skin from Brawl Stars. Now the first thing we're going to do is draw the inside edge of the hood. So let's start over on the left side. I'm going to draw a curve that goes up in the middle. And then we're going to bend that back down on the right side. Let's create an overlap along the bottom. So on the left side we're going to step up. We're going to curve down in the middle. And we'll pull that back up on the right side. Now I want to trace this curve along the inside. So we're going to step up on the left, curve down the middle, and then back up on the right. Now let's draw on the neck, leaving a gap in the center and draw two straight lines. One on the left, and then one on the right. Let's fill that bottom area in black. Now let's move up and draw the top edge of the mouth. Now I want to give this a slight angle up towards the right side. So start on the left, curve down, and then a little bit higher on the right side. Now let's round this out. We're going to draw the lollipop coming around. We're drawing a circle. Tuck that up underneath the mouth. Let's add the stick over on the right side. We'll draw two straight angle lines. And then we'll close off the bottom with a straight line. Let's go back to the left. We're going to round this out. Come down and in. And I'm just going to pull that back up underneath the lollipop on the right side. Going all the way up. And we're going to go back to the left side. Let's draw the teeth. Coming down and pulling that up. Now along the bottom, we're going to add the tongue. Right in the center, we curve up and then out towards the right. Let's fill the inside area of the mouth in black. Let's add the tongue coming down the center of the hood. So starting in the middle, right at the top, we're going to curve down, round out the tongue, and then pull that back up. Let's move back to the center and draw on the zipper. In the middle, we're going to draw two straight lines coming down, side by side. We'll close off the bottom with a straight line. Now let's move up halfway, draw two short lines going out. Now from the ends, we're going to draw two straight lines coming down towards the bottom. And then we'll connect the bottom with a half circle. Coming down, and then back up. And then in the center at the top, we we'll draw a short line coming down the middle. Now we're going to draw the outside edge of the hood. From this point, we're going to step out and draw a curve. Coming down, and then in behind the zipper. Let's go over towards the right and do the same thing. Coming out, and then up. Now going back to the left side, let's curve out the side of the head, going up towards the tip of the hood. Start by curving out, round up the side, just going to pull this up and over towards the right. And then from the tip, we're going to taper this back over and then down. Let's draw on the right side. We're going to step over to create an overlap, curve out over that line, round up the right side of the head, and pull that down and in. Let's add a fold along the top of the head. Starting on the left side, we curve up a little bit higher in the middle, and we'll bend that down on the right. I also want to add a seam across the center of the head. So we start from the tip, curve out towards the left and down, curve down and over towards the center of the head. Now from here we're going to draw a straight line coming down towards the top edge of the hood. Now we're going to move to the side and draw on the eyes. Starting on the left, we're going to draw a half circle. Curving in, and then back out. Let's line this up on the right and do the same thing. Curving in, and bending that out. And then we're going to add a trim around the inside. Stepping up, curve in, down, and then out towards the side of the head. Line this up on the right and do the same thing. Curving down, and then out. Let's move down and draw on the side of the body. Starting over on the left side, we're going to curve out and then down the side, go over towards the right, and we'll do the same thing. 
Let's connect these two lines with a curve, coming down the middle and then back up on the right. And then we're gonna round out the side of the pockets. Back on the left side, we're gonna curve out and then in towards the waist. Do the same thing on the right. And then again, we're gonna connect the ends with a curve, coming down and then up. Let's go back up to the top corners of the pocket and draw the strap. We're gonna curve out and then up underneath the head on both sides. And then we're gonna tuck the arms inside the pocket. From the top of the strap, we're gonna step out and curve out, round out the arm, and then pull that in towards the bottom corner of the pocket. Let's do the same thing on the right. Curving out, and then rounding this out, and then in towards the bottom. And then going back to the top corner of the pocket, we're gonna curve up and then down to the top edge of the arm. Now I'm gonna go back in and add some detail to the arms. We're gonna start from the bottom of the strap, we curve up and then out towards the outside of the arm, and do the same thing on the right side. Now let's draw a curve around the wrist. Starting from the top, go out, and then back in towards the bottom, do the same thing on the right. Now from the zipper, we want to step out, and draw two straight lines coming down from the bottom of the head, and it will angle down and out towards the top corners of the pocket. Now we tuck a small circle underneath the center of the pocket. So we're gonna step over towards the left, curve around towards the bottom, and then tuck that up and underneath. And then from the center at the very top, we draw two straight lines coming down. We wanna leave a gap along the bottom. And then we're gonna trace the circle on the outside, around the left, and then the right. And then in the center on both sides, we're gonna add a circle and we'll fill the top and bottom areas in black. Let's move out and draw the sides of the belt. Starting on the left, come straight down. Same thing on the right. Now I'm gonna curve this down and in behind the buckle. So I'm gonna tuck that in, leaving a little overlap along the bottom. And then we're gonna add two belt loops. Two straight lines on the left, and we'll do the same thing on the right. Now we're going to move down and draw a curve from left to right, going up and then down for the lower torso. Now we're going to leave a gap in the center, go over towards the left, we're going to draw a straight angle line coming down and out towards the left heel, go to the right, angle down and out towards the right heel. And then we're going to round out the bottom of the feet, starting from the left heel, curve down and then up towards the toe. Now from the toe, we're going to curve the top of the foot, curving up and then in to right about there. Do the same thing on the right side. Now it's going to add a fold. From the top, we're going to curve down and in, aiming towards the heel, we're going to stop about halfway. Let's go back up to the hip and curve out the side of the leg. Starting from the left, we're going to curve out and then down on top of the foot. And then from the foot, we're going to step up and draw the edge of the boot, curving down and then up. We'll line this up on the right side and do the same thing. Let's add a strap across the leg. Stepping up, curve down and then in. Do the same thing on the right. Now we'll step down, draw that same curve to the bottom of the strap. Let's add a pouch on either side of the hip. From the top of the belt, we're going to step out underneath the arm, draw a straight line coming down. We'll pull that straight in towards the bottom corner of the belt. And then we'll add a small pouch on the side of the leg. From the top of the strap, step up, angle up and out. From the bottom of the strap, we're going to step down, angle up and out. Connect the top and bottom with a curve. Do the same thing over on the right. Let's move back up and draw the two swords over the shoulders. So we start on the left side, underneath the head, we're gonna draw two straight angle lines. We're coming down, step out, draw that twice. We'll close off the end with a straight line. Let's do the same thing on the right. So we're gonna line this up, angle down, draw that twice, and we'll close off the end. 
Now from the shoulder, we're gonna draw a straight line going up and out in behind the hip. So start up here, go up, continue on the outside, all the way up towards the end of the handle. Flatten that off. And we'll draw that straight angle line coming back in behind the hilt and then in behind the arm. Let's do the same thing on the right side. And then we're going to add a simple pattern to the handle of the sword. Starting from the outside corner, we come straight in with a straight line, straight down. Now we're going to repeat this all the way down towards the bottom. Let's go back to the top. We're going to go in the opposite direction. Coming down, just crossing over the first line, and down toward the center. And then we'll do the same thing over on the right. Start with that straight line coming in, and then down. And then we're going to go back and fill the center diamonds in black. Shot that at the very top. And there we have it. There's our Deadpool Leon skin from Brawl Stars. I hope you enjoyed today's lesson. Make sure you subscribe and send me your requests in the comments below. Thanks for watching and we'll see you again soon.